Indonesia, a country with thousands of islands, faces a great challenge in the field of communication and information technology as a means of safeguarding Indonesia's unity and harmony. Until today, various progressive developments in the sector have been conducted by the government of Indonesia as well as the private sectors. And telecommunication has undergone rapid growth along with the advancement of the world's information and communication technology. And also, telecommunication services have diversified over the years with the products such as fixed line, mobile, wireless phones, etc. The coverage of cellular phones has reached nationwide, not only voice telecommunication service, but also data communication. Currently, there are already 86 fixed line providers, 17 mobile network providers, 269 service providers, and 20 special telecommunication providers. At the same time, the numbers of telephone providers in Indonesia also showed healthy competition among several companies, especially among eight companies who play in mobile service sector. Meanwhile, the number of players on fixed line phones and wireless fixed phones are three and four companies consecutively. The existence and development of telecommunication sector in Indonesia is acknowledged professionally by the international community as reflected in 2009 Frost and Sullivan Asia Pacific ICT Awards, which were granted to Indonesia Telecommunication Company. In the last five years, the growth of wireless fixed phone lines has reached an average of 81.3 per annum while customer growth during the same period was on an average of 40.2 per annum. Even though 80% of its coverage is still concentrated on the Java Island, with the number of customers reaching 1.7 million corporate and personal customers. While at the same time, the number of network access provider was noted to be 201 providers, with 2,811 customers comprising of cable, satellite, fiber optic, and other technology providers. There are 39 data communication system providers located in Java, North Sumatra, the Rio Islands, Bali, and West Kalimantan. In an effort to resolve the digital divide issue between regions in Indonesia, the government has introduced various programs which are not exclusively carried out by the government but also involves all telecommunication stakeholders in Indonesia. One of them is the Universal Service Obligation or the USO by establishing Desa Berdering or the Ringing Village program which provides phone lines to 36,471 villages with no telecommunication access. The next agenda from USO is to penetrate remote villages with internet via the Desa Pinter or the Internet Savvy Village Program. This program has reached 100 villages in 22 provinces as the end of 2009. Desa Informasi or Information Village is a village equipped with infrastructure such as telecommunication, internet and broadcasting system that enable the community to get a much effective and efficient communication access. Other following projects currently conducted by the government is the Palapa Ring, backbone of the fiber optic connecting all regions in Indonesia that could be utilized by every fiber optic based telecommunication operators in a number of islands and cover 440 regions and cities. The telecommunication industry in Indonesia would keep on strengthening and enhancing the national economic growth. The government would also keep on supporting a stronger growth by encouraging infrastructure development, 
through the synchronization of future rules and laws as well as by overcoming challenges in a varied social and geographical situation in Indonesia. The advancements in telecommunication sectors content and infrastructure will benefit not only Indonesia but also the world. <laughs>